Hi guys, Travis with J3's Property Enhancements. <clears throat> Thanks for clicking on our video, because if you clicked it, the only way you're watching it is you have had to click it. So, I want to talk to you guys today about pressure washing. The reasons why and the process of. And the reason being is because you know, lately we've been running into a lot of customers who are somewhat in a panic about pressure washing being done to their homes. And main the main questions are, is it going to bust my seals? Uh, are you going to tear paint off my house? And when they ask those questions, when our customers ask those questions, first of all, we realize that they're a first time customer, but I can tell that there has been some pressure washing before us that wasn't done properly. So the proper way to pressure wash a house is to saturate the home with the chemical that you're gonna use first. Allow the, the chemical to sit on the home, react, the chemical that we use is chlorine, which is 12% hydrochloride versus bleach is six. So chlorine is a much stronger chemical and it's, it's, it's more natural than a mixture of chemicals that are put together to make bleach. So we saturate the house and we allow it to the chemicals to react. Then we aggressively rinse your home. Therefore, you don't have to worry about um, paint getting knocked off or your windows having cracked seals and things of that nature. So you get a bright finish with that, all of the panic. Now, pressure washing is known for the outcome of a home. It looks beautiful. Uh, the white is bright. The, the paint looks great etc etc if done properly there are some companies that just pressure wash with no chemical they pressure wash with pressure only and that is what causes customers to have that mindset after the job is done because they you know looking at their windows and trying to figure out why is the condensation between the panes and you look at your your paint and you see the 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 peeling of the paint because whatever company knocked the paint off with too much PSI. PSI should only be, well, PSI should only be high when doing concrete. What's more important than PSI is gallons per minute. So that's on the commercial side, really not on the, the, the consumer side. But <clears throat> with the proper guidance per minute, you are able to get a certain PSI that makes the job quicker on concrete. But you don't need a lot of PSI when you are pressure washing a house, walls, exterior walls, because you should have a setup to where your chemical is doing the work and you aggressively rinse. Then everything is protected and you know you have a happy customer who will refer you and, re and repeat business with you, which is what we all want to do. Now, the reason for pressure washing is preventive care because a stucco home or any type of siding or whatever your home is, is made of <clears throat> gets into a panic, so to say, when things are on the home that shouldn't be. Moisture builds up and stays, and if the sun is not properly drying it and it's not cycling, you know, get moisture, dry up. It tends to start, especially in Florida. We're located in Jacksonville, Florida. So it tends to start allowing the process for mold or mildew to make a home on the wall of your home. And what that mold and mildew does, it deprives the paint of what it needs and it starts to take the pigments of the paint 
out of the paint itself. That's why when you see a home and it's like lighter than it, if it's pink, it's light pink. If it was a red home, it's a light red, which many people aren't paying, uh, painting their homes those two colors, but brown or, or whatever the color is, you can tell it's like, oh, it's lighter. The paint is losing its life. So you could walk up to a, a home and wipe your hand across it. And if it's white, though, that's letting you know that the paint is breaking down. And one of the things that causes that is the mold and the mildew on the paint itself. And the process behind the scenes is the mold and mildew are sucking the moisture out of the wall, out of the paint. So the paint just can't last as long as it should. If you get a, a, a the proper paint and you maintain your your home by getting it pressure washed annually, if you don't have a lot of vegetation, if you have um, a lot of vegetation, you may, you know, have to go twice a year or what have you. But um, annually is is a is a good time to get your pressure your your, your house washed. Um, so a paint should last 15, 20 years. The proper process, pressure wash, prep, and paint, which we do. And then after the fact, pressure washing once a year. So, you know, they're coming out with all these different types of coatings and they're guaranteeing them for all of this time. But the, the, the base of all of that is you don't need to go pay twenty thousand dollars, fifteen thousand dollars for, for a certain type of coating to paint your house. You can get the regular paint and maintain it and get the same life for about fourteen, uh, sixteen, fourteen thousand dollars cheaper. Uh, you know, average paint you run in about three dollars a square foot, so. You know, four thousand dollar house. Uh, I'm sorry, four thousand square foot home, or you know, two thousand twenty five hundred. Yeah, you're looking at about six thousand dollars between three and six thousand dollars to paint on the exterior of a house. So again, I just wanted to do this video because of the influx of customers who call us and their their main purpose or they go into a panic is because, oh, if you come out, how are you going to do it? I just spoke to a customer today and he was like, oh, this gentleman um, referred me to you guys and he said he had a vinyl siding on his home, but we have stucco. So how is that going to help? How are you going to do that? And I can tell by the question that he was asking that he had a bad experience. So I explained to him, sir, the biggest misunderstanding of pressure washing is pressure. Just because someone comes to pressure wash your home, they shouldn't be, oh, excuse me, they shouldn't be using pressure. And that's something that we don't do. We just give you an aggressive rinse. And, uh, of course, we got him booked in and we're going to go outside, uh, go out and service him next week. But I just felt like I needed to, to contact or make this video for all the people that's following us on YouTube to explain the reason why pressure washing is important and the proper way to pressure wash so people don't get the wrong idea uh when it comes to pressure washing now the only way that we use an aggressive pressure uh process when it comes to pressure washing is we are if we are preparing the home to get painted then we'll use um a higher psi you know we're running five gallon uh per minute 5,000 PSI machines. And as still, we don't do a full 5,000 on a home. You say, well, how, how do you know? 
Well, the yellow tip is what we use mostly, and you can control the pressure by coming closer or just backing up a little bit. But if we see a part of the home that has paint peeling, we just help the paint peel a little bit more by applying pressure, but we're not giving the home a full 5,000 PSI of pressure because you're gonna knock the concrete or knock the vinyl or or, or, or mess up the party or the hardy board or you know mess up the wood in the home and then your insurance has to cover it um, you know to fully serve the customer because of the mistake that you have made you know be sure to stay insured first of all but educate your customers um, as well so it's an easy process and um that's about it so you can check us out at j3s property enhancements.com look us up on facebook obviously we're on youtube um we serve jacksonville and the surrounding areas orange park middleburg greenberg ponte vedra uh fernandina beach all the surrounding counties um so give us a call 386 two three seven three zero seven four we look forward to serving you um we do pressure washing we do painting we do paper sealing we do lawn care and sprinkler repair so look forward to um hearing from us about you know short videos this video is ran about uh 11 12 minutes so i like to talk i guess but usually they won't be this long but um we'll kind of give you guys a backdrop of of the, the process of what we do and the reasons in the proper way that we feel uh, after um, 17 years of experience, 10 years of being in business, how we feel it should be done. Have a great day. Stay hydrated. It's hot out here. See you soon. Boom.